Welcome to Curiosity Quest Goes Green. I'm your host, Joel Green, and this is a show that explores your curiosities on the environment. Well, today we got a letter from Nikki in Southern California. And Nikki wrote, Dear Joel, dumping obsolete electronics seems to be one of the major problems in our environment. How do they recycle or reuse obsolete electronics? It is so interesting that I want to have my own recycling company when I grow up. Thank you. Well, Nikki, thank you for being so ambitious and good luck on your company. Today we are out here at E-Recycling in Southern California where we're going to learn how they take old electronics and recycle them. So let's get started on today's Curiosity Quest. Okay, so what, what you're saying, what, where? What, E-Recycling of California? That's where I need to bring this thing? Can we fix it? I don't think so. All right, so I'm here with Dennis from E-Recycling. Now, Dennis, tell us, what do you, how does it work here? Well, that, that's a good question. It, it works here. We take in electronic equipment, starting with the CRTs, which is your monitors and your TV units, and we dis, dismantle them down to their bare units. There's lead in the glass uh, in the monitors and in your TV screens that are harmful to the environment. And so the Department of Toxics has banned this material from going into the landfills and polluting our, our environment, and our soil and contamination. And so the Integrated Waste Management Board came up with, and the state legislature came up with a plan to allow uh, residents, consumers, businesses to dispose of this material in a safe, free manner and bring it to people like us who are re approved recyclers and take dismantle this in a safe manner so that it doesn't harm our environment. So we're not allowed, in California, it is against the law to put a TV or a monitor or any electronic item in it, a landfill, right? Absolutely. So in it, your trash can. It, or in your, in your trash can. No, no, no. It, yeah. it, you need to bring it to an approved collector or recycler. So now once a person finds a, an approved place to, to drop off, Right. And I would I see these big, you know, big green bins right. behind us. So I assume they're picked up in these and then they're brought to you, right? Right. There there are a number of ways to do this. We have household hazardous roundups mm -hmm. where counties and cities hold this for their residents. We provide these these bins and people come by during that day that's designated and they drop off their electronic material, anything with a battery or a plug um, or a, a circuit board and monitors, and they put them in these bins and at the end of the day we bring these bins here, and we'll uh, we'll show you what we do with them. What is a commodity? A type of recycling. A type of way to recycle. <laughs> well, I've heard lots of stories, but what I've heard is it's it's a giant car that runs over trash and then burns it. A group of people. Um, stuff that you recycle. Something you don't have a lot of. An adjective. We break this down into a commodity. Every piece of equipment, we recycle about 98% of this product goes into some, gets broken down into a commodity which then is put into another product and recycled. For those that don't know at home, what is a commodity? A commodity is, you'll see that the plastic or, 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 or the metal or, or the circuit boards is all made into something else. It's separated, made into something else, more of a raw material put back in and then is made back into another product. So that's okay. what the commodity is. It's, it's what's left out of our product that we can then turn back into another product. Fine. 